Hello everyone, welcome to IXL Center's um, program which is called the Eureka program which uh, allows companies to generate big bold breakthrough ideas. Uh, this is a five-step approach that we use and what we're going to do today is share with you the approaches and the five steps which goes across that. Uh, my name is Hitendra Patel. Uh, I'm a professor at the Health International Business School as well as the managing director of the IXL Center and I'm here with Tyler McNally who will um, help us talk through the different steps and processes. All right, so I'm gonna go through the five steps of the Eureka program. And those five steps are number one, innovation intent. Number two, developing opportunity insights. Number three, creating unique fields of play. Number four, developing business concepts. And number five, creating a mini business plan around a prioritized concept. But before we start on that, I would like to just let you know what, what our theory is as to why and the logic behind the five steps. In the first step where we talk about innovation intent, what we're trying to do is get alignment of your organization as to why you need to innovate. The second part is, is only going to happen if you get alignment on the first part, which is why should we do this? And where should we innovate? And how much investments are we gonna make around those innovations? The second part after that is then you need to actually diverge. You need to go outside the box and outside of the environment that you're working in, whether you're working with or looking for ideas and opportunities and insights from your customers, your suppliers, whether it's about the future, but you need to go outside to see what the opportunity areas are. Once you have collected all those opportunity insights, what we call those is collecting more dots. Then you need to actually start connecting the dots together to identify fields of play. Fields of play are not one single idea, it's a big opportunity area. And and this is where you'd call a strategic focus. Where are you going to focus next? Inside the strategic focus are lots of business opportunities, what we call business concepts. And that's on, on the step four that we'll talk about. Identify a big field of play, and within that, what are the business concepts they can pursue? And of those business concepts, a portfolio of them, not one only, but you should think about three or four of them, you will then basically choose one or two to actually advance into a mini business plan. Mm -hmm. And that's the overall part of our thinking that you have to diverge to get a lot of insights and then you'll converge into a field of play and then you'll diverge in the field of play again and then converge again through the number of concepts by selecting one or two. So this is a two-step two, two process of diverge converge that you will have to do and this is how innovation um, can be done otherwise you'll get a very sequential way of thinking about this thing. You need to diverge, you need to converge. And the point I'd highlight there is at step one, you don't know what you're going to end up with at step five. At step two, you don't know where you're going to end up at step five. This is a process. You're collecting many different dots. You're not sure where it's going to take you. But we've found time and again, the process works across industries, across business units, across organizations. So the process works, but you have to follow each step and be open to new ways of thinking, be open to new paths, and understand that you may not know where you're going to end up by step five. But as you go through each step, it'll become more clear, the solutions will become more defined, and you'll get those aha, those eureka moments.